what are WeChat official accounts? Uh, WeChat official accounts are kind of the equivalent to Facebook pages. Uh, they are the tools that brands can use in order to reach out to followers, give them access to their website, or send them push notifications. So they actually are divided into four kinds, unlike Facebook pages. Uh, the first type is subscription accounts. Uh, so subscription accounts can send one push notification per day uh, because that's uh, the case for most of the WeChat official accounts. They actually are limited in terms of number of push notifications they can send. Uh, and they have low visibility. Uh, I'll explain more about what that means. Uh, the service accounts can send only one push notification per week. Actually, the exact number is four per month. So it's a bit less than one push notification per week. And they have higher visibility uh, than the subscription accounts. The third kind is enterprise accounts. Uh, they actually can send unlimited number of notifications, unlike the two first kinds. Uh, and they have very high visibility. But the main drawback is that you need to have two-way approval in order to use them. So it means the follower has to follow the account, but the account also has to approve the follower and also needs to have the WeChat ID of the follower. There needs to be a kind of offline exchange between the enterprise account and the follower via another mean of communication. Uh, so it's perfect if you want to use it for your internal um, communication inside the company. That's why it's, it's called enterprise account. Uh, and it's also very good uh, if you want to handle a small number of distributors. Uh, and the last type, type is uh, WeChat mini programs. Uh, so this is a new kind of account. I won't get too much into details about it. Uh, it's just out since January. It's not getting much traction because it's actually uh, not able to send push notifications to users. So it's not getting um, very, very, uh, it's not very popular among marketers. So what do I mean when I talk about subscription accounts and service accounts and when I say that subscri subscription accounts have low visibility while service accounts have high visibility? A service account uh, appears uh, just like a friend on the timeline of WeChat. So that's actually an important point. When a WeChat official account sends a push notification to a user, this push notification does not appear on the uh, social timeline of the user like you would expect if you are thinking of, in terms of Facebook pages. The push notification appears in the quote-unquote uh, WhatsApp or Messenger part of WeChat. So this is the part which is dedicated to messaging and that's where, where these uh, push notifications appear. So the service account will look just like a friend sending you a push notification, just like a friend writing to you. Uh, subscription accounts are a bit different. They are stacked in one folder. Um, so that's why they are less visible. You have to click one level deeper in order to be able to see what's inside a subscription account. Uh, and then you have your list of friends and of WeChat groups. So if you actually click inside this uh, subscription account folder, uh, you will see the list of all the subscription accounts uh, you're following and you can then read uh, the individual messages. So it's definitely uh, buried one level deeper and users don't necessarily open this folder very often. Uh, so although subscription accounts enable you to send more messages, one per day, it's still um, um, a trade-off in terms of visibility because you're losing a lot of visibility in order to access uh, this um, ability to message users on a daily basis. The enterprise accounts are actually very visible because they have that dedicated section in the contact list of the user. So they are very, very easy to access. It's a very powerful type of account, but once again, very limited for marketing because it has this two-way approval uh, requirement. And in all of these accounts, users can enter a chat interface, which enables uh, end users to, to engage in customer service interactions, uh, which enable uh, to set some automated answers to uh, make this process easier. Uh, and most importantly, uh, you have menus at the bottom that users can click to trigger some automated answers or even, very interestingly, uh, to access some websites uh, such as e-commerce websites. And this enables 
uh, to use these accounts to provide an additional la layer of service and use them as kind of little apps within the app. And of course, the subscription service and enterprise accounts can send push notifications to the user. Uh, the push notifications are usually articles that users can read, share and comment on, but can also be videos, audio or even plain text messages. Now, that's it for this explanation of what are WeChat official accounts. Uh, if you want to learn more, I included some links in the description of the video uh, to some more in-depth articles.